This is Dave Brixis with Explosive Sports Performance, EXSP.biz. And I'm here this week with a video blog on acceleration. Uh, speed, everybody wants speed as we talk about it. And I think it's such an overutilized word. I think it encompasses more than what most people think. But I think if we're a field player, a court player, I think acceleration and change of direction are two of the biggest things that you need to be a great athlete. More so than just top end speed. I mean, yeah, it's great to see a kid run a 40-yard dash in 4 4, four three. Uh, Phenomenal. But I want to see how fast he gets out, how fast he starts, first five yards, first ten yards. How fast can he bust out and get himself moving? And that's what acceleration is. How do you teach it? How do you get these athletes to move faster? That's, that's one of the tough things to do because uh, a lot of people don't understand that acceleration is different, that you really can teach acceleration that you can really get the most out of an athlete. I mean, if you look at it really honestly, look at this, look at football there. How many athletes really reach top end speed? Very, very few, if anything. Um, some kick returners maybe, maybe a wide receiver if they're running the slant. But for the most part, I mean not a slant, I'm sorry, a streak. But for the most part, if they're running slants and things like that, they're changing direction. So they have to slow down for a second and then reaccelerate back out. You never really have a chance to reach top end speed because that comes straight line at about the 30, 40 yard mark. So you're looking at running straight with nobody in front of you, not having to slow down 30 to 40 yards. Now, so acceleration is much, much more important when it comes to these team sports, even some of the individual sports um, that you see out there. Even track and field, yeah, you gotta have top end speed, but you better be able to get out of the block nice and quick as well to get your body moving, especially in the shorter ones, in the 100 meters and stuff like that. So don't overlook acceleration. Make sure you focus on it. Make sure you get into it. Make sure you understand how to do it correctly, how to train for it, because there are certain ways to train for it. All right? How can you make yourself a better athlete to be more to accelerate much, much faster? All right? Don't just rely on, well, I'm doing these plyometrics, I'm doing that. No, you want somebody to teach you how to do the acceleration drills correctly and how to break them down so you understand, all right, this is the way I got to get out. This is how I got to move. How are my feet supposed to fire? All right, if I'm in this position, uh, one foot's in front of the other, how am I, am I pushing off just with the back foot? What am I doing? Or should I push and pull? Pushing off and pulling with the front leg into the ground so I get more power going out. What if my feet are um, even, parallel? How do I start from that position? All right, so there's a whole bunch of different things out there that you got to understand of how to do. All right? Um, over the course of the next couple weeks, I'll probably be putting out different videos on acceleration of how to get yourself going a little bit, so make sure you check back often to this blog. Um, also my Facebook page, Explosive Sports Performance. Um, make sure you look there if you're not on there. Like it so you can see some of the different things. I'm always asking different questions on there um, of different ideas that people have. So get on there and see um, what we're going to do. Because I can't stress enough how important acceleration is. It is so, so important to an athlete to become great. you got to develop it. You can work on it. All right? Just like the old saying used to go, well, if you're not born with speed, you can never get faster. That's bull. All right? You can get faster. You have to train the correct way, though. But it's not just what you see out of a book. Well, do these plyometric exercises and do this, and you're automatically going to be faster. Learn how to do it correctly. All right? Try to stress this to all my kids that I work with, baseball players, basketball, football. I'm not going to go to a guy who has no idea how to swing a bat. Well, you know, this guy has a place and it's called Joe Schmoe's Batting, but he never batted before, doesn't know how to hit a ball, and I'm thinking I'm going to learn something from him. Well, you know, he likes baseball a lot. That's great. Just because you like baseball doesn't mean you know how to teach baseball. Okay? you got to go to a person that has knowledge, the background, of understanding how to break these, these movements down for you, of how to get the most out of it, so you don't hurt yourself, but you're constantly improving, not getting worse. If I go to Joe Schmo's baseball, and all he does know is that he loves baseball, doesn't know how to teach, and I start swinging, great, I pay Joe Schmo a lot of money, and I haven't gotten any better. So make sure they have the knowledge of what they're doing. You're not just listening to, well, this guy lifts weights, and he's a bodybuilder, doesn't mean he, he knows how to teach you speed either, okay? Make sure you do your research. Make sure they have some kind of background, some kind of knowledge, some type of, some type of accomplishments, all right? It's not just in the bodybuilding realm, but actually in the sports realm. If you're looking to increase your speed, you're looking to increase your endurance, looking to increase your uh, change of direction, 
Look for them. Make sure they understand. Make sure they have some results, some testimonials of people who have actually gotten faster. They have proven themselves over and over. Don't just go to somebody because they say it, and that's the new keyword. Hey, let me teach you speed. And they have no idea of what they're doing or why they're doing it. They just show up. Uh, this is on a video I saw. Great, but why are you doing that? Why does your body have to get in this position? Okay? Don't buy into the hype of somebody. Buy into actually what they actually know, their knowledge of it. Just like I'm not going to go to a doctor, okay, if I have a knee problem and all he works on his shoulder. Well, he's a doctor. He must know something. Well, technically he does know something, but doesn't mean he's going to be able to fix your knee the right way. You want to go to a guy who's going to actually teach you the stuff correctly, properly, so you get the most out of it. It's not a waste of your time that you're constantly improving. And acceleration is one of those things that you don't want to just go to somebody out there who has no clue what they're doing or just looked at a video and thinks now they know why. I understand why you're doing it. I understand the mechanics behind it and how they break that down. Acceleration is very, very key. I'm also going to be talking on, on a later blog on a change of direction. Why I think that's just as important as well as deceleration. Just as important as acceleration and speed all around. Alright? Make sure you get out there and unleash your potential this week. Keep pushing yourself to greatness. And I'll see you.